Hi, I'm Pat Bear, and this is another episode of Do You Remember? It's an ongoing video series where every week I hastily do some research on the internet and then try to remember everything from the article that I just read and tell you about it in an entertaining and maybe even educational manner. And uh, this week we're talking about weeding library. Uh, yeah, so it's a library uh, reference of weeding. We're not talking about working in your garden. Uh, we're talking about uh, culling of materials, resources from a library, which is a thing that like, I know happens and knew happened, I should say, but I didn't think about it until I found this page on Wikipedia. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sure there's a philosophy behind it. So I read all about it, and now I'll tell you about it, and maybe you'll learn something. In the comments below, you can also tell me what I got wrong about the article, if you want to cross-reference what I say, or uh, if you are a librarian, if you've been uh, a work, worked in a library, you can let me know like your thoughts on weeding. Um, I think weeding is a better term than calling, probably, but that's what I think of. Uh, it basically, the Wikipedia page gave a definition of it, basically just like, the removal of materials for various reasons, uh, resources from the library. Um, obviously, libraries have a physical limit of how many resources there, uh, being you know reference books or you know fiction books or whatever. Um, uh, you'd be at school or other academic libraries or just public libraries. Um, they have a limited number of uh, they have a limited number of physical space, I should say. Now, uh, obviously, digital, uh, you don't worry about that, but you still need to call your digital collections because uh, it can just bulk out and then it is hard to find. Or you might have outdated materials. These are reasons to weed. We talk about that. Um, a lot of it is like, yeah, outdated material that is not current. Um, that works for both digital and physical. Um, you know, you want to have up to date information and reference material for people and resources. Um, of course, then dealing with the physical, you also have condition of the book. Uh, maybe you have a book that is just like deteriorated and is not going to, um, uh, uh, that is part of the criteria, I should say. Um, because reasons to weed and the criteria for what gets weeded kind of go together. Basically, it's just like, hey, what's weeding? Um, here are the reasons to do it. Here's the criteria you use. And also, here's like, they're a little bit of a like, hey, some people don't like the idea of it. Uh, I guess I'll just say that now because that was a short little thing. But some people don't understand what weeding means and they just think it means you're throwing away books. Um, now, the article doesn't get necessarily into it, but I know for a fact that uh, I, I knew a, a librarian who would take the books that he thought were in fine enough physical condition but were being uh, uh, weeded. Um, because probably like maybe the cover was a little messed up or whatever, but he would donate that to free libraries or like, you know, the little take a book, leave a book kind of thing. Um, so I did know that that happened in the past, the people with it, like that. But yeah, sometimes it's not poor condition. Sometimes it's duplicates. If you just have like a lot of the same book uh, and libra libraries know who takes the book out. They understand that they know that they have that those records. So maybe it's just like, hey, this is an academic uh, uh, you know, a library and this material is not part of the curriculum. So it doesn't need to be there. That is part of the criteria. Um, uh, you know, it's like, it's a fine enough piece of material or book, you know, or whatever research material, whatever, but it's not, it just doesn't fit with the rest of it, you know? Um, uh, uh, or, you know, it could be media, right? Maybe the media is old or maybe the media is racist or sexist. Um, uh, or biased, perhaps, if it's research material. Maybe it's just like a collection of, uh, you know, like uh, scientific journals that are uh, clearly show their biases after a time. We now realize that, so you can take that out. Um, uh, it could be like media that is like movies or, you know, like CDs. You know, there's plenty of public libraries that do that. Maybe those are in poor condition. Same thing with books. Um or they're duplicates, or they uh, uh, they are just like not relevant. It's like, hey, this movie, no one has ever taken this movie out. We have no record of anyone ever taking this out. Do we need this? It's been X number of days or months or whatever. Um, let's see. Uh, there's some reference material there, of course, to do some other reading. Um, there are a couple quotes in there that are not attributed uh, to a name, but then also have a reference material to people reading uh, or writing about it. Um, let's see. Um, 
Oh, also, it might be that there are just enough resources, and that's a reason to uh, to weed. Is there just like oh, we got a lot of stuff about Norse mythology, and it's all pretty modern. We don't really need this other book about Norse mythology. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, uh, but also sometimes it, it could be something like that. Very subjective. The last thing was just like visual appeal. And I'm like, I don't know about that one. But if if there is a book that, uh, uh, that is very similar, two books that are very similar, let's say. And one is just like the artwork is atrocious and it just is not a good looking book and no one takes it. Well, we don't need that if you have something matching it. I guess. I guess that's what it means. But, I, you know, I really do think more like um, uh, uh, outdated stuff and poor condition. Like books that won't survive circulation. That's an, obviously a very good point. Um, I realize now that this particular video probably isn't that funny, but it might be actually educational. Uh, um, but I haven't found like a fun twist. It's not like the last one where I had the name lewis porter featherstone to keep saying over and over again i don't know if there's anything funny or fun about weeding library other than the fact that it's weeding in parathenicals library which is pretty fun um but yeah most of just like is the book just like they either wrote dirty or smelly or they wrote both i cannot remember but i believe that dirty and smelly were included in there which i, I found very fun um uh, is there anything else? Uh, I'm just staring off the... I'm looking at myself right now and looking at the photo of people putting books. There's no photo attached to this Wikipedia, but last week I didn't have a photo, so I found a photo of people putting books on shelves. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like why you do it. Um, it is like you want to get... You want to prune. You got to prune... You gotta prune the library, right? You know, you don't have that infinite amount of space, so you gotta cull some stuff back. You gotta get rid of some things. You gotta see if other branches want a thing, because you can send it there, maybe, or uh, or perhaps sell some books. I don't know, um, or just yeah, throw them away. Probably recycle them. I'm sure so there's some materials that get recycled. I am sure there are plenty of librarians out there that have just massive collections from themselves. They're just books they took because they were going to get reduced because, it, you know, it might not have been in poor condition. It might have been uh, something that was outdated or it might have just been, I think the probably the, the saddest category is the, uh, or criteria, I should say, is the books that just people don't take out. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You got to get rid of those, but like, uh, that, does, that does feel a little bad, especially if it was like fiction books or something. Anyway, that's a lot about weeding for the library. Uh, I've been doing this weekly uh, all throughout 2022. I'll be finishing up in December. So check the playlist if you haven't been watching these. You can just click on a random one. Whatever uh, uh, piques your fancy. If it's like a phrase or an idea or uh, uh, a place. If you want to know more about like... Oh, I've talked about all kinds of things like historical figures and theorems and locations that were fun uh, a bridge for squirrels um i talked about ocean spray who were a collective which i didn't know like all kinds of stuff uh and i hope you enjoyed this um i've been pat bear and this has been do you remember and thanks so much for watching i'll see you on the next one goodbye